Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel and today's video is actually the same day that we had the Volvo issue. It's just a few hours later and Jeep's got an issue now. My brother's here, he's come to rescue me okay. um, again for the second time today. And to be fair, the first one was Mrs. DL, not me. It's a good job I don't do anything, isn't it? <laughs> At least <laughs> in the week. Lucky you're not like, yeah, in full time employment. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, it's ideal having a student brother. <laughs> so I was just coming up a hill, um, something went bang, and it's as if the transmission has basically detached itself from the rest of the powertrain. Um, you can put it in park, drive, doesn't really matter, doesn't do anything. I've tried putting it into four high and four low in the, tra in the transfer case, but um, still isn't working. Um, I've also tried various the car i mean the engine starts and runs no problem um i've looked underneath i've tried it in all sorts of possible modes that i can there's no dashboard lights um so i'm just a bit, bit perplexed really so i might have to give in and let the aa tow me home which is a bit sad um but it is what it is we're fairly close to the road so we've got this little fluorescent jacket there just to uh Actually, I say we're probably stop people like that. We're probably um, closer to the road in this one than we were in that last breakdown earlier in the day. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So I've just interrupted you while you're making your dinner, haven't I? Yeah. This is the, just put the meat on the pan, and then I, I got a call. So. <laughs> I had to make a call. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, as you know, what I actually said to Mrs. DL earlier today. It's all right, the Jeep never breaks down. Because she said, well, wow, what happens if we take the Jeep out and it breaks down? And that's what's happened. So, um, I think it's because she never washes it. It's just got some sort of resentment. Or it's me. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. Um, but, uh, yeah, AA are on their way. I mean... Ideally, they'll fix it on the road side. I don't think they will. I think it's some sort of shaft from the engine to the transmission's blown like up. Like when the van broke down, we had kids, and the man got underneath it, whacked it with a mallet, and then we were off again. Yeah, exactly. Like four hours of waiting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> four hours of waiting, quick ten-minute job by the <laughs> hit, smack the starter motor, and we we're away yeah. again. I think this might be a bit more than just a hammer. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, but um, I'll join you guys in a bit when something else happens. I've been stood here for an hour now. <laughs> so fingers crossed. Okay, so quick update. A have arrived and left. <laughs> so there's nothing they can do. It's probably a transmission issue and it will need to be recovered on a flatbed. Uh, which, because I'm in such beautiful countryside, uh, will have to be a third party because they couldn't tow this because of the four-wheel drive and the, the width of it. Um, so I've got a possible two and a half hour wait now. I let my brother go home because he lives up the road. And now my dad's going to come and uh, bring me a snack. So um, yeah, all good fun today. It's just one of those days, isn't it, that happens. Um, so yeah, what can you do? I'm filthy now. But um, it's just an expensive day. So uh, yeah, hopefully um, I won't be too long. And my snack. I think it's probably going to be a Morrison's meal deal from the garage. Will uh, keep me going long enough for the um, recovery truck to arrive. But um, beautiful sunset happening. I'll show you guys. Yeah, stunning sunset. So um, yeah, all good fun. Okay then, so the next fam member of the family has now arrived. <laughs> my dad. <laughs> What's your professional opinion? can't say it because it's <laughs> <laughs> my normal opinion <laughs> but it is i think it is very kindly turned up and brought me a blt and Hot waters, snicker yeah, yeah so uh, we're snack. still here it's <laughs> three hours uh, three hours later yeah i've uh, come back from plymouth <laughs> you've driven back from plymouth <laughs> <laughs> specifically to come and see me wasn't it oh exactly yeah so I drove back from Leatherhead to rescue Mrs. DL today and uh, you've driven back from Plymouth today to rescue yeah. me. So, um, although you haven't been much use because... Well, I just bought you snacks. Oh yeah, true, yeah, fair enough. There's been quite a lot of you. 
So, um, yeah, I mean, there's worse places to break down. Look at this lovely scenery. Yeah. You've got a stunning sun sunset over there. Yeah. Near the peacocks. And there's, yeah, there's some peacocks over on the farm over there as well, which is quite funny. Lovely house. So, um, yeah, so the AA man, like I said, didn't really know, didn't really want to touch it. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> it's all good fun, isn't it? So, the people generally being quite good at slowing down and moving over which is quite nice I think I'm going to get bitten to shreds by bloody Mos mosquitoes yeah. so we um, might take shelter in the car oh. I'll leave you, oh just show them what you did to your arm oh, so he was, he was welding his camper van and managed to wire brush his arm with the angle grinder yeah, and um, <laughs> she's got a <laughs> <laughs> like a nice big bit of chunk of flesh missing. What's that been? It's been nearly two weeks, hasn't it, since yeah, you did it? And still it's still, still, still bleeding. bleeding. <laughs> so it was a nasty injury there. Treated it myself. Yeah, self treated. <laughs> <laughs> that might be why it still looks like yeah. that. It still bleeds. It's got a nice, yeah, nice big chunk out. So, yeah, that sounds painful. Mm, well, but, um, why do that again? So, use protective clothing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and goggles. And goggles. And yeah, imagine. It. <laughs> what more protective clothing do you have on? Um, I didn't. I had a t-shirt and I had my um, Bob motorcycle sunglasses. Cause I and, <laughs> and also, how many hands were you using on the angle grinder when it happened? I was swapping over. I was getting a better position. So how many hands one. did you have on it? One. one. <laughs> and that nearly come off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you lost that, didn't you? Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we're waiting for recovery now. I thought, well, I say unfortunately. Ironically, I actually know the person who's coming to recover. So hopefully, it won't be too long. Otherwise, I'll give him a ring. So, um, yeah, see you guys in a bit. So we've been joined by some of uh, our locals, as you can see. A field full of uh, lovely cows there. We're very interested. In, I think it's because you've turned up. What do you think? Yeah, cow whisperer. Cow whisperer. <laughs> so I've just had a phone call from the AA to say um, very sorry but the original company who's meant to recover um, now can't do it they think it will probably be another three hours now I've already been here four hours so um, I think I'm just going to get a friend to come and recover me to be honest um, which is a bit of a joke <laughs> isn't it really we'll take on the whole thing yeah it's a bit poor isn't it when it's taking this long yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, what's the RAC they wouldn't have taken any. <laughs> Plus I'll bring the RAC up and get there, see if they Yeah, tell them, tell them tell them you've been a passenger in it. Yeah. We've got some little <laughs> calf stampeding now as well. I think I think they just they just love the Jeep. This is only about playing, isn't it? Yeah, just have a chill. So <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it's one of these things, isn't it? Um I just can't believe that I've had to sort two cars out on the same day. What are the chances of that, do you think? Unlucky. Is a bit, isn't it? Have you ever broken down in two cars in one day? I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> I broke down in a transit van and um That's pretty standard though, isn't well, it? No, a driver broke down. I went down to relieve the driver. Oh no, 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 no. It's all like the cows are coming <laughs> towards us. <laughs> there you go. Oh they're cute. You went to go and relieve the driver? I went to relieve the driver for and then I was gonna be recovered with the van. And um the shift changed on the operation and they forgot about me <laughs> and I fell asleep and I woke up and it was all dark and nobody knew I was down there. <laughs> Where was that? That was quite a long time. Where was that? <laughs> this was for four days. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't very happy when I woke up. I can imagine, yeah. Oh wow, look, look, all the, all the calves are coming to say hello. <laughs> oh, there's a ball there. I think we'll, we'll start to be away. <laughs> He's gone to see what all the, all the, the chaos. Like, the off the other way now. Oh, there we go. That bull, that bull probably weighs more than the Jeep. Probably weighs more than your car, and that's heavy. Yeah. So. It doesn't emit as much. In... Oh, I don't know, it'll be close. <laughs> <laughs> Every, well, but then yours makes up for it, doesn't it, in a hybrid mode? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, God. What are they doing? Because you, you turned around and looked at him. <laughs> so yeah. Um... <sighs> I'm going to go home. <laughs> yeah, you can leave me to it, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Well, um, well, you broke down in your camper van, didn't you? Yep. How long did that take for them to recover? Oh, you, you arranged that. You arrived at the campsite and then just arranged for them to take you home. Yeah, because it's broken down. You need to come pick me up on Sunday. No, it was Monday morning, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and that was what, Friday was it or something? Or? Yeah, it was Friday night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Unfortunately, I haven't got this luxury. I'm in a farmer's driveway who has been very nice, actually. Offered to go and help me get me snacks and stuff like that, so... But yeah, so it's just another evening in Herefordshire, enjoying the, the lovely sights. So, um, yeah, old Mrs. DL's ringing me now. Okay then, guys, just a quick update. It's now a month later, and the street still hasn't moved. This is exactly where we dropped it off when we had it recovered. Um, give a quick show of what we've done. A quick discussion of what we've done so far. We can uh, unlock the door here. So, I'm going to show you the fact that it starts no problem. It hasn't been started for a couple of weeks now. So, um, be interested to see how it starts. Just going to wait for the beep. There we go. So, um, as you can see, she runs no problem. Got an engine warning light. Now, that's caused by... Um, Fault that I'll explain in a minute, but um, if we put it in four low, you can hear the revs change. Put it down into drive, you can see that's on the dashboard there. You can see that nothing is happening at all. Um, so, my theory is that we have had a transfer case issue. Now I have um, replaced the input speed sensor, which is what that fault is caused by. Basically the Jeep's going well. Hang on a minute, the input speed's enough to be going somewhere and I'm not going anywhere, so what's going on? Um, so it makes total sense in my head anyway, um, that uh, it should, you know, it, something should happen but it, um, nothing is so um, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the transfer case next uh, which isn't something I'm taking lightly but um, we don't really have an option so um, yeah that'll be the future video there's just a quick update you can see nothing's moving if I was to take the handbrake off with it in park it would roll um, so we've checked all the shafts and everything nothing's moved so I'm pretty convinced that it is going to be something transfer case related so um yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you next video cheers